I, I mean, whenever they're ready, right? Okay, Brian, that's a sign of five. Um, showcase Cup, we're done. Yeah. What's, what are your takeaways? Not from this game, but from the Showcase Cup series as a whole. Uh, we, we're trending in the right direction, I think. Uh, today was a bit of a different game for sure, but I do like the way we're playing. We're getting more. We've got our – the big focus with Showcase Cup was – Let's get our base in, and let's get our base in really solid and on both ends of the floor so that way we can start to get a little bit more creative and, and start to do new things, but you can't really do that until you get your, your base. Like a, You need a really strong base to do that, so I'm, I'm glad where we are there. Any other questions? Uh, once again, shorthanded to uh, how much did that help you? Uh, yeah, we, we kind of ran out of guys pretty early. Um, Hassani really battled too. He was supposed to be on a much lower minute restriction coming back from the flu. Um, and then the foul trouble obviously didn't help either. Um, so that kind of jacked up some minutes too. So it made it tough. Anytime we came close, we weren't able to turn the corner. I think if we had a couple more bodies, it might have made a difference. You celebrated Johnson, but Justin had a, a career high in rebounds tonight. Oh, nice. Is that something that you'll take away from this game? And kind of have a small celebrate, like celebrate the little victory. It's awesome. I'm kind of surprised. 16's a career half for Jess. Jess is a beast on the board. So I would have thought he'd I have a couple more games. A stat for how many times you grabbed your own rebound, Justin would be killing the entire. Ah, uh, he's got an unbelievable. <laughs> he's got a great second jump. Yeah. Coach, with this whole uh, very tough game, do you see this is the development level you are expecting on the team, or you expect? or you are expecting a higher level? Uh, it was a tough game for sure. They're a great team. They play with a lot of force. Um, They're really fast. That's the fastest team we've played for sure. Um, and they really get downhill in a hurry. Uh, they had a lot of guys that like, they were like a blur out there. So the speed of the game gets amplified when you have tired bodies. We had three guys play over 40 minutes. Um, so the the matchup wasn't great for us tonight, put it that way. But I, I like the way we competed. I mean, we lost the fourth quarter by a point, and we lost the third quarter by a couple points. All that after, like, we could have thrown in the towel earlier. Um, so, no, I'm pretty happy. And also we saw some players were so anxious and very, like, nervous or even, like, I think, um, like, no reaction at some point of the of the game. Do you think that was part of the tactic that the other team used, or you think he was unable to do something that you was expecting to do? I'm not sure I fully understand your question. Do you think our guys were nervous? Is that what you're I, saying? I, I saw personally that the team sometimes see like holding hands when the other team attacked based on what you said they were so offensive. So you think the the team could be doing something else, or you think the the team did the right thing on the right moment? Uh, obviously, we didn't do the right things because we lost by eighteen points. But I think for the most part, the guys were trying to do the right things. Um, we probably got gave up a bit too many paint points. It was pretty wide open. Um, they were able to attack downhill. Um, a lot of that's fatigue. It's a lot of work to get to your gaps and get back out. Um, but no, I think overall, I don't think there was an element of nerves there. How much did Jeff leaving partway through warmups change your game plan? Yeah, obviously. Uh, especially when he's kind of the fulcrum. And then uh, CV as well left relatively close to tip off two. So that's two point guards um, that usually that, that kind of point guards are the ones who are kind of dictating the show on offense and then the the first line of defense on the other end. So, yeah, it can, it can change things up. Um, Janet Stanley, Yankee Media Radio here at Irving Center. Um, you mentioned how fast they are, but they also got it going on the perimeter. How do you kind of balance that with that defensive team? Uh, the perimeter, a lot of it was with the zone. Um, I don't think – I mean, they, were, they only took nine threes in the first half. They made five of them, but – the paint was more of an issue. Uh, it is obviously a balance. It's a give and take, right? And if you pull in too much, you open up the three and vice versa. Like the other end, they just 
they completely packed the paint and they said we'll live with you taking as many threes as you want and we took a bunch of threes and they were for the most part good looks um if we turn them down we're just going to drive into a crowd anyways so it goes both ways uh they worked out better for them tonight all right Personal stats don't mean nothing if you don't win. Fred said that the other day. It's a fact. Uh, it's just, you know, that's what I do really. That's what really got me here. It's just me being aggressive on the glass and rebounding and whatnot. But should have pulled the game out. Should have tried to win. You know, we had, we was, we, was in, we was within five in the second quarter and they wanted to run and it was wraps after that. So just got to go back to the drawing board, get better. I mean, we, we only got seven guys playing. So it's kind of tough. It's good, but it's tired. But. No excuses, just get back and uh, get ready for Vegas. Your second jump on your own shot is disgusting. Like, yeah. how Have you always played that way, grabbing your own rebound, grabbing your teammates' rebounds, or is that something that you've picked up along the way? Uh, that's just me being aggressive. That's just me wanting to put the ball in the basket. You know, uh, I've uh, I've had teammates that kind of, like, done that before in college, so I kind of, like, pick off their game. But, uh, no, nah, just crashing the glass is just being aggressive, you know, like is the will to win. I want to win. I don't like to go out there and lose. I don't like to go out there and just stat chase. I want to win. So me rebounding, that is trying to put me, put my team in a position to to get a win. So, yeah, pretty much. Four attacks on the nine of five tonight. One, including on you. Oh, I can't speak on the rest, please. I, they'll find me so far. That's not so much, but we got to be better. I'm not going to blame the rest. We got to be better. Um, we got to control our emotions. Can't, can't worry about calls, can't worry about anything else, just what we can do, can no control the controllables, and uh, that's on us, we gotta be better. There's also a moment where you and Chris Silva were kind of barking at each other, and then the next possession you were totally fine. How are you able to flip that switch so quickly? Uh, I got in trouble last year uh, with the raps, and I was talking to Fred about it, and he just told me like, yo, a lot of guys in the league, it's not them, so just, you know, calm down. You can have your little worries here and there, just calm down and just keep pushing. I'm not here for that. I'm here to make money, here to play basketball, try to win games. I know who I am. I'm good. What do you think the, the team could be better in order to gap, uh, close the gap a little more? What do you think the team didn't do it today? Uh, I mean, it's tough. We only have seven guys. They got a full roster besides one person. So, you know, we were kind of tired. We got tired at the end. But uh, I would just say being more aggressive. Like, we got to gotta make more shots. You know, you got to get in the gym as a team and just start knocking down more shots and trying to close the gaps on defense and, and, and really lock in on the game plan. And it should be good from there. But seven guys, it's tough to do it with seven guys. We did it yesterday, but today we were a little tired. And do you think those three points that you already lose as a team was part of those uh, um, strengths that you're supposed to have it today? Or yeah, we got a weakness that that's, bad day? Nah, that's we we spoke about that in private. We gotta hit threes. We can't just we don't hit no threes. Look, we don't hit no threes. We gotta hit some threes. We gotta get in the gym, start making them, cause that's really that's really our only Achilles heel. Like, you know, we get to we get to the foul line here and there sometimes. Uh, our field goals aren't bad, but it's just our threes that's killing us. Just gotta make threes. Other than that, I think we'd be fine. You know, what? Jeff left in the beginning of the game. You know, so it's kind of up and down day. You know, welcome to the G League, but. Uh, <laughs> We just bounce back, you know, not try to look at the, 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 the negatives in the past and just try to get ready for Vegas. That's all we can do. And also, uh, sorry, uh, one more question. Do you think this game helped us, the team, to improve the level for the following team, for the following games? Or do you think you can do more uh, than before? So do you think this is the level you are expecting as a team or you can reach oh, out nah. more? I mean, if, if you watched last year, this was the same thing before the before the showcase. We was terrible before the showcase. We didn't click, we didn't mesh, we didn't hit shots, we didn't play no defense. It's just a matter of just, you know, locking in on those little things. We show glimpses of it. You know, we, we won a few games on a three-game, we were on a three-game winning streak. We played pretty well. We went for uh, the film and, you know, we did right. But, uh, no, nah, I just think that going forward, we'll figure it out. Like, even like last year, we'll figure it out. You know, I'm hoping that when we have everybody here healthy and, and I know – Dale just got traded here. When he get here, and he gets acclimated with the team. I think we'll get it rolling. I think we'll be good after the showcase, and we'll, we'll figure it out and get ready for the second half of the year. Thank you. Uh, 
Hi, good evening. This is Andres from Frequency 5 FM. What do you think the team did today and what the team supposed to do it in order to achieve a win today? I mean, we were kind of short guys, but that's no excuse. Um, we just need to, I feel like we need to slow the game down a little bit more, execute a little bit better offensively and defensively, and we would have been okay. Um, we just need to, we didn't turn the ball over that much. We just need to hit shots a little bit more, too. I think we shot like 10 for 24 from three or something like that. Or 10 for, what were we? Something around there. 10 for 42. You know what I'm saying? I don't think we'll ever win a game if we shoot the ball like that. So we just got to continue to get better um, shooting three to make shots. Do you think the game had today a bad night? Or, or what do you, do you think was your impression about the game in overall? Can you say that again? Your overall is um, a perspective of the game. What do you think the team was passing? <coughs> the perspective of the game? Yeah. But how do you see the game today in overall? Oh, good game, bad game. I mean, I feel like I feel like um, we had good stints. We had some bad stints. They made some a lot of runs. Uh, we made some runs. Um, we just got to um, continue to learn and learn from all of our. It's, it's no bad game, you know. what I'm saying we just got to continue to learn from it. Thank you. What do you think of your teammates' performances tonight? They were picking up Justin for their high end rebounds. Hassani used his high end points. I knew somebody was stealing my rebounds. That was <laughs> JC. Yeah, I mean, they they stepped up big. That was a big time. Um, that was a big time stat lines. Um, but, I mean, it, it's good to see that from them. It's good to see um, they can go, in, go into um, – they can go into the showcase with confidence, um, hopefully. What are you taking away from the Showcase Cup Series to bring into the regular? What, what are you going to do the same way against a different group? We're going to try to win. Um, we're going to try to grow together as a team, hone in on a couple of things to get better at. Um, we're just going to try to win. We're just going to try to finish out the showcase really well, um, put on for scouts and, and teams and stuff like that, and try to get it, try to get a good, I guess you call it routine or good streak started um, before all, all this stuff resets. Um, this is a learning experience. This showcase is a learning experience. So I feel like we can do a lot better in the regular season. Do you think that the time in Vegas as a team, you know, you've had so many moving parts <coughs> up until a couple hours ago. Yeah. Do you think the time in Vegas together will kind of help you build that team camaraderie? Yeah, yeah for sure. I mean, it's no telling um, how long we're going to be out there for. So um, we definitely sh – um, I know we're going to a team dinner and stuff like that. Um, we're starting to hang out more off the floor. Uh, so it's definitely definitely something we can continue to do and we can grow grow with. Physically, how are you feeling? You were out last game and you had a big offense. How are you feeling? I mean, I feel all right. Um, it was a couple of times. I was out last game because of my